Hey guys, it's Kota here again, and I've just got to say thanks everybody so much for the overwhelming response to my first video, or my first HD video, the UU versus Blame Truth. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. But uh, I've got another battle here today, and this is a doozy of one, if I say so myself. So I lead off with my Heatran, and he leads off with his Elf. He tricks me a Choice Scarf, which that pretty much cripples this uh, Heatran since. It's just because of the move set and because of its EVs. So I'm forced to switch out after setting up my Stealth Rock, and then he sets up his Stealth Rock, expecting me to switch. So he makes a great play here, and U turns out. So already he's just th ripping through my team. This is Elf is just wreaking all sorts of havoc. And he goes out into his Dragonite here because he knows that Dragonite can take anything that Shaman can dish out, unless Shaman has HP Ice, but that's not very common. I expected him to U-turn out though, and I set up a Leech Seed, so that's pretty standard. And now I'm not sure what he wants to do, I am i don't really want to protect in case he sets up a Dragon Dance, but I don't want to not protect and let him do something, so I decided to protect just to see what he wants to do. And that turned out to be a good play as he went for the Superpower. So now I'm trying to decide whether he wants to go for another Superpower or not. I'm not sure what this Dragonite's moveset is. I've never seen Superpower on a Dragonite, so I'm not exactly sure what he's going for. So I decide to just go for a Seed Flare, even though it's not going to do anything. Just <laughs> hoping for a special defense drop, I guess. And I see him Superpower again, so I know he's not Scarfed, or else he would have went first. The Shaman isn't very fast. So he gets his attack and defense to drop, so... Now I know that I can stay in here all day long if I have to and just wait for my my leech seed. There we go. My leech seed to whittle it down. So that's pretty much the plan at this point. Maybe I can hit it with an HP fire in the meantime. But until that happens, I'm just going to protect every other turn. And it turns out he has fire blast. And that means I can't sit around here all day long because I'm going to get freaking rolled if I decide to do that. I predict him to... Fire Blast again, though. So, I'm going to try and go into something that can take it. So, I go back right back into my Heatran, and hope that he Fire Blasts again, predicting me to stay in, and he does. So, now my Overheat is going to do tons of damage to either this Dragonite or whatever wants to come into it. So, that is really good by me. I Like, a superpower there would have KO'd my Heatran for sure, so that is good for me. And I go for the overheat, he decides to keep his Dragonite in here to die. Which isn't a horrible play, I'm not sure whether he has a Heatran of his own that he could have brought in, or if he had like a, any kind of water type or something. But, that's okay. I got the special attack drop, so... That's why having a Scarf on this thing isn't exactly great, because... It's either that or HP Grass everything, and that is not good. And I can't just blow up whenever I want to, so... That stinks. I decided to stay in and go for another overheat. I'm just trying to get a lot of damage on this Machamp because I know it's going to hit me with a dynamic punch, but this Heatran's useless anyway. So that did a ton less than I thought it would. I thought that would at least do three quarters because I do have the flash fire boost. So that was surprising. And he hits me with a dynamic punch predictably. And that's going to take me out, I think. Yes, it does. Critical hit. Probably, actually, he probably needed it. I've this this Heatran has lived a few dynamic punches in its day. So, but then again, like with 18, he could have just bullet punched after. Because I'm pretty sure he's not scarfed. I've only seen one scarf from Champ ever. Eh, I'm not sure if that's just me. So I know I go into my uh, Gyarados because unless it has Thunder Punch, I'm going to be able to ball this thing completely. Bullet punch, dynamic punch, fire punch, whatever. But he stays in, and my heart sank, because that means he has Thunder Punch, and he is going to roll my Gyarados with that. And that's what he does. So, that really stinks, because there's no way that any kind of Gyarados is going to take that hit. So, down goes my Gyra, which, I guess it sort of sucks, but, yeah, okay, that really does suck. So, after lefties, I forget what I go into, so we're just going to have to wait for that. I, oh yeah, I go into my scissor, just hoping that maybe a CB bullet punch could take it out. 
because if he has Thunder Punch, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Fire Punch. But he decides to swap out and go into a Steel type, which is going to completely wall my Bullet Punch. So that's it was pretty useless. And now my Sizor actually has absolutely no chance of surviving anything. That Jirachi's probably got Fire Punch. Jirachi's usually carry Fire Punch or Ice Punch, and I'm predicting that one to have Fire Punch. So I decide to swap out, and I go right back into my Shaman even though I was predicting a fire move, because Shaman's got pretty good defense, and he actually just goes for a Thunder Wave there, so that's good. I'm going to be able to take a Thunder Wave and Natural Cure out if I absolutely have to. So we both get our lefties, and I plan to switch out because I don't want to get parahaxed or slow down. So, actually, no, I stay in because I have HP Fire. That's what I do. Which wasn't the smartest move because he's just going to Fire Punch me. And that's absolutely not good at all. So he takes out, he takes me, he takes a pretty good chunk out of me. Like, I think both of our guys are base 100 in every stat, so I'm going to do just about as much to him as he did to me. And that's pretty good that uh, that was a crit, so I guess I did a bit more. But I definitely don't want to stick around because if that was a crit, I'm not sure how well normal damage is going to do. Plus I might get parahaxed, so I'm probably going to switch out, which I do. So, I go into something that can take a fire hit pretty well. Not not the best, but yeah, it, it takes it alright. So, in comes my Flygon, and yeah, not Scarf. That was a joke. Somebody, I thought somebody who had like a Scarf Tar, it was called Scarf Tar. So I thought, wow, that, that's pretty cool. And for whatever reason, I go for an Outrage here. Not exactly sure why, because that is not going to do anything at all. I think I predicted him to switch, predicting me to um, Earthquake. Because I thought the Earthquake was a bit too obvious, so I decided to go for an Outrage. And that's just horrible over-predicting by me. So now I'm stuck, and he went for a T-Wave predicting me to switch. I'm not sure why, but that's what he did. So my second Outrage is going to nearly take it out, and I he Ice Punches, and that is going to take out my Flygon. And that really stinks because I could have killed that Jirachi, but because I'm totally stupid, I wasn't able to. So, I'm things are not looking good. I've lost two of my sweepers because of stupid plays. And one of my walls is crippled, and the other one won't be able to do anything. So, in comes my Shaman again, because... I figured I'd be faster now that I'm not paralyzed, but apparently I'm not. I guess he's got max speed too, and mine's a not max speed. So his fire punch is going to take me out, and that is... Oh man, things are not looking good for me at, at all. This Jirachi's pretty much sweeping me. Oh man, I'm not even sure an HP fire would have taken it out at that, at that hit points. So I go into Scissor, for whatever reason... Just because that, I honestly had nothing else to go to, I thought. So I hit him with another bullet punch, trying to take him down as low as I can. And he T-waves me again for whatever reason. Like, T-wave isn't going to slow down a priority move. I guess he was hoping for some parahacks or something. Which he might get. And it looks like my second bullet punch is going to take out this Jirachi. It's going to be real close anyway and he survives and that really sucks because now my sizer's down and I have I think I'm down to my last guy so that is not good for me at all this Jir I wish just uh, that Jirachi should be dead it should be dead but it hung on by like I think it was at like one hit point I think he said so that really sucks, and I go into my last guy, called Scarf Tar. <laughs> I don't know. It might trick, like, one stupid person out of a hundred. So, I get my sand stream up, but we're both, he's steel and I'm ground, so neither of us is going to get hurt by it. And I, I know he's going to Ice Punch or Fire Punch. Well, Fire Punch would be resisted, so I go for a Dragon Dance. This is my only chance I have to do. I have to get some sort of boosts up. So I got my Dance in. And so now I'm going to be faster than him, I think. 
and I'm, I've also got pretty powerful news, so I'll go for an Earthquake, which is going to take him out easily. So I'm sitting at plus one attack and speed, and I honestly thought I had zero chance at this point. Like, legitimately. Just because... I was on my last guy, he had four left, and here and it comes a Vaporeon. And at this point I'm like, oh crap, it's definitely over now. So I go for a stone edge here, hoping it hits, and it luckily does. So plus one attack that's gonna do a whole a hefty chunk. Like seriously, like it almost completely rolls this Vaporeon, but it survives and he hits me with a surf, and at this point, I like because I took the ice punch, this Tyrantar usually can take a Surf, but I thought it wouldn't be able to take a Surf and an Ice Punch. And I guess he doesn't have very much special attack investment because I lived, and this is my shot. He's got Nazelf, and I can take that out with Crunch easily, with my plus one attack. And he's got, I'm not sure what else he's got, but he decides to swap out, and he's got a Togekiss, and that sucks. Because I'm not sure if that thing's going to be scarfed with Air Slash going for Flinch Hacks. I don't know. And he do So he dodges the obvious Earthquake that I had to go for. I wasn't going to go for another Stone Edge in case it missed. So he gets buffeted by the Sandstorm. But it, no big deal. He gets lefties. So i got to go for another Stone Edge here. And just pray that it hits again. And luckily it does. So that'll take it as Togekiss. So I'm thinking to myself, hmm, all he's got left is a Vaporeon and an Azelf. I could have a chance here. Like this Tyranitar, like useless useless crit there. That wouldn't have mattered, it would have KO'd it anyway, plus one attack. So I can crunch his Azelf because I've got such I've got pretty good coverage on this T Tar. And I can EQ his uh Vaporeon, so I'm not sure what he's got left. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to take me out with anything. So crunch on his Azelf and because that thing had life orb, I, I'm not sure if it would have lived normally, but it takes it out, so that's good. I guess he doesn't have very much defense. Not a lot of T-Tars pack crunch, and I think it's an awesome move just because of this. <laughs> um, so yeah, in comes his Vaporeon again, and that tells me that his sixth guy can't do anything to me because, or else he would have sent it in already. So an EQ is going to take it, that Vaporeon easily after he protects stalls me out because he's a douchebag. So my EQ will take him out after this turn and then it's gonna be all down to what his sixth guy is. So getting up that dance when I could against that Jirachi really really saved my saved my skin right here. So there goes the EQ, he didn't go for a double protect which protect doesn't do anything since Sandstorm neutralizes his lefties, so. And I have, I have a Lumberry, I think. That's what, yeah. Probably. So, Sandstorm. And this is the moment, and it's the Machamp I forgot about, because I always forget what people's pokes are during a battle. So, the Machamp takes next to no damage, and then I EQ it, and that is the game. That is an epic, epic finish to an awesome match. That was this match. So, 5 versus 1 T-Tar sweep, and I made sure to really just praise the C-Tar after the match, so I was happy, I hope you guys are happy, and I guess I need a new question for the day here. So, let me think of one really quick. And here we go. Um, are you guys going to be getting Pokemon Black and White? Somebody asked me in the comments to my Blame Truth video, and I figured I'd ask it here. I'm probably not gonna get it right off the bat anyway because I've been uh, I've been looking around and a bunch of people on the competitive boards that I follow they they aren't gonna get it they've they've either imported Japanese versions or downloaded the ROM or something and they say it's Gen 5 isn't that very good so I probably won't be getting it right away I'll probably pick it up later. And I just want to say thank you once again to Blame Truth for really giving me my start here, and I'm really grateful for that. So, see you guys later.